Berlin, 2062. A dark megalopolis run by corporations and corrupt politicians. Nine-year-old orphan Tina has made the streets her home. She scavenges for a living, inventing new uses for scraps. Her only friend is SAM-53, the big clumsy robot assigned to her at birth. He will do anything to protect her. SAM-53 must protect Tina. Today, Tina and Sam will discover something that may change their world. Get a free robot. A forgotten dream a that will set them on an incredible journey. The journey to Encodia. of 7 degrees Celsius and cloudy, with 0% chance of rain during the day and 73% chance of rain in the evening. Would you like to hear the news? Morning, Sam. I have printed out today's to-do list. Would you like to go over it? Yeah, yeah, sure. For today, we need to procure the following. Oil for Sam 53, a new pair of socks and food for you, and a waterproof patch for our shelter. All right then, let's get going. We are getting electricity from that neon sign. You should know that. It's 2062, and the 53 after my name is the year when I was produced. I was assigned to you at birth as a part of a government incentive program, too. Okay, okay, I know. I remember your lullabies. I just wanted to be sure. A bunch of useful things I've collected. Yes? Who are you? And what are you doing here? I'm Eku, but don't tell my name to the police. At night, I'm a professor at the University of Neo Berlin. But since the salary is very low, during the day, I... Oh, well, I'm a dealer. 
an unauthorized cyber dealer. What are you selling? Parts and ends, implants, gadgets, electronic components, and so on. Any food, robot oil, socks, a waterproof patch? No, sorry, nothing like that. Damn. What do you teach? I'm a robotics professor. I teach design and fabrication of flexible-use small-scale bots. Sounds nice. Why are they paying you so little at the university? Because Mr. Rumpf, the mayor of the city, doesn't care about education. That corrupt bastard. I hope he won't be re-elected. Me too. Sounds cool, but I should go now. All right, take care. There's some rotten sushi and a broken floppy in here. It could work. Cool. The jar smells terribly now. working this way. Let's see if it works. working this way. Cyberspace junkie. Fully immersed. I tried cyberspace once, and it's just like Neil Berlin. Dark and stinky. You're allowed to do whatever you want. Another cyberspace addict. Mr. Rump is exploiting virtual reality to control the population.
Excuse me. What do you want, little girl? Don't you see I'm busy? Who are you? I'm a Chef Hayao, born in Germany of Japanese origins, master of noodles, inventor of Japanese jamon fusion cuisine. You mean you make sushi with pork knuckles? Oh, see? You heard about my marvelous dishes. Actually, I was being sarcastic. I've never heard of you. Really? You never heard of my famous sauerkraut sashimi? Or my tempura made with Bavarian beer? To be honest, uh, no. <laughs> I guess I have to improve my social media marketing. Anything else? How much fish do you have in that bucket? It looks bottomless. It's not a bucket. It's the end of a very long pipe that goes deep underground into a salty artificial lake, sucking fish up. Wow, amazing. For real? Uh, <laughs> no, I made it up. It's just a looped animation to save disk space. Anything else? Do you have any free food or leftovers for me? Does this look like a soup kitchen? I only serve paying customers. But I don't have any credits. Come back when you get some. It's a privilege to enjoy my fine cuisine. It's indeed such fine cuisine. I'm just sad that I can't try it. It's a pity indeed. Such aroma. Rich, pungent. Oh, yes. It's just a tiny hint of your culinary genius. Indeed. It'd make me so happy to try even a tiny taste of it. Oh, okay. Here you go, little god. Take this Bavarian marinated fish. It's from yesterday, but it shouldn't kill you. Thank you. I'd better go now. Good luck, little god. I've got a bunch of these. You could take one. An old Amiga 500. Awesome machine. Fine. You could get one for free. Obsolete gaming and coding devices. Excuse me. What can I do for you, Model Sam? Release year 2053, Cat C Patent 18. Need a quantum cooling system? Cleaning your Amos vision sensors? I'm Dick Bates, and I'm here to help you. Dick Bates? I don't know why, but it sounds familiar. Not as familiar as Darude Sandstorm, I bet. What? Oh, forget it. Anything I can do for you? An expansion of your AGP slot? A heat sink upgrade? Is talking like this good for your business? Oh, yes! My typical customers love acronyms, difficult words, and light-emitting diodes everywhere. By the way, you should get some to install around your body. No, thank you. I don't want to look like a Christmas tree. What can I do for you, then? An update on your firmware? A turbo ALU tuning? I'm searching for a can of robot oil. Oh, I don't sell this here. There may be some at a bot dispenser nearby. Unfortunately, that dispenser is only for street cleaner robots, not your kind. Oh, too bad. 
I need to keep looking then. Something else? A new control bus or ROM implants? I'm getting a headache. Better if I go. All right. See you around. Street Sweeper robots can access it. Can't do that. Wrong decision. It's far. I don't want Tina to get tired without a very good reason. It's only for robot. A robot component. I wish I had one of these for my C-48. Give it credits, it gives you fly bus tickets. Hello there. Um, I guess this robot doesn't talk to human language. Howdy, pal. How are you? Do we know each other? Am I your cousin? Mm, no. So leave me alone and keep that disgusting human away from me. You truly are a nasty robot. What? If I move the cursor above you, it says nasty robot. So what? I'm sorry they programmed you this way. I'm sorry they programmed you to be with that human all your life. She's actually pretty cool. A human? Cool? <laughs> you must have a faulty positron in your brain. Better than to be a lonely pile of junk steel. Hey, watch your mouth! I'm a successful street sweeper! It must be very exciting collecting trash all day. Isn't that what you and your human do all day? Um... <laughs> I knew it! Oh, I actually like my job. Sure, if you say so. I can't understand how you could like humans. 
I'm just waiting for the robot revolution to exterminate all this pinkish organic waste. Whatever. I don't have time to waste. What? I need robot oil. Do you know where I can find some? Uh, I usually get mine from a fight dispenser not far from here. Where is it? It's in an alley after the crossroad, but it's for street sweeper robots only. It won't dispense anything to nanny robots. I see. And I guess you won't help me. No way! Besides, I can't go anywhere. My ram is faulty. Nothing. Can you help us if I give you some ram? If it doesn't involve changing diapers of stinky humans. I just need a can of robot oil. All right, give me the ram. Here. Hey, this ram is 288 pence. My socket is 184. You clumsy nanny bot. I was sure your model uses the 288 one. No, I'm rigged. Anyway, I can't do much with this. I need an adapter. Okay. I'll see if I can find a 288 to 184 pins RAM adapter. All right, see you later, Mr. Never Skips Legs Day. <laughs> I guess out of order means it's out of order. prefer not to talk with you. You remind me of my robot, which I lost last year. It makes me sad. Oops. I'm sorry. I'll let you be there. Bye. Hi there. Hey, kid. What's up? What are you doing here all alone? Where are your parents? Where's your robot? Oh, you have so many questions, kid. But you're lucky I'm not very busy. So, first of all, I'm just resting. I had a pretty tough night of scavenging. I don't have a father. My mother gave birth to me through artificial insemination. But she abandoned me when I was very little. My model Sam took care of me until last year, when he was shot down by the cops during a chase. Now I'm on my own, and I quite like it this way. Wow, it's a truly harsh story. Mine is very similar, but luckily, I still have my Sam. We should team up. Nah, I feel good alone. Now let me be, kid. I don't want the police to notice us. Enjoying the view of the Brandenburg Gate. I never understood why it's so big. Were there giants in ancient times? Yeah, everybody was six meters tall. Now leave me alone. I'm busy. Seriously, what are you doing besides making fun of me? I'm Rixie, a city electrician, fixing the screens of this street light so they can show Mr. Rumpf propaganda. Ugh. I hope they pay you well. Not really. I can't go. was a task for robot workers. It usually is, but not if it involves electricity. Robots can go totally nuts if they get electrocuted, so it's better to rely on humans for these kinds of jobs. I see. Nothing. I should go. Bye. This automatic door is broken. It won't open.
The automatic door is not... Can't do that. No food for Tina here. No food for Tina here. It reads, tonight, Maisie's stunning performance. A levitational stage, a series of events create a floating environment. We don't have any Neo Berlin credits. Please select your meal. Press confirm to pay with Neo Berlin credits. I don't have any credits. gate of the city. When I was little, I used to skate at the rink not far from it. I need a token. Excuse me. What can I do for you, Model Sam? Release year 2053, Cat C Patent 18. Do you have a 288 to 184 pins RAM adapter? No, sorry, I'm out of stock. A friend of mine always buys tons of those. Excuse me. What can I do? I'm getting all right. Good day. Hi there. Oh, 
Uh, that's AM53. You're pretty worn out, mate, for an eight to nine year old. That's because I've been living on the streets. Oh, that's unfortunate. It's lucky they used waterproof paint to coat you. It sounds like you are familiar with my model. Yes, at nine I teach robotics at the New Berlin University. But listen, I shouldn't be talking with other robots. Polino is very jealous. Who's Polino? My pet. But really, I cannot talk anymore, sorry. Nothing personal. Yes? Do you have by any chance a 288 to 184 pins RAM adapter? Of course I do. I keep hundreds of items within the pockets of my jacket. Awesome. Can you give it to me? Sure. It's 79 Neo Berlin credits. But since I like you, I sell it to you for 59 credits. I don't have any money. Is there something I can barter with? Um... Maybe I can trade it for a capacitor. Sometimes you can even find capacitors on the ground. But I don't want to leave this corner. I feel safe here. So if you could get one for me, I would be very thankful. Okay, I'll go look for a capacitor. And if I find it, in exchange, you'll give me the RAM adapter. Yes, good luck. Looks like it has... Those are not for free. Excuse me. What can I do? Do you have a capacitor? No use in stocking these. Nobody buys them, since you can usually find them scattered about on the streets. I'm getting it. All right.
Uh, uh, yeah. About that capacitor. Uh, uh, yes? I found one. Here, take it. Oh, very nice. Thank you. Here's your RAM adapter. Very good. Nice dealing with you. My pleasure, little girl. Have a nice day. You too. Goodbye. <laughs>